Hey guys, it's Allison here. Before I move on to different projects, I thought I would just um, show you a quick walkthrough of my finished, finally finished, December uh, 2017 album. Um, I have called it December Daily Stories. It, it was kind of a combination between um, Ali Edwards' journal, or Ali Edwards' December Daily and Shmel Lane's Journal Your Christmas. Um, so yeah. And I gotta admit, I think I started following the, the Journal of Your Christmas prompts at the beginning, and then when um, my process got interrupted and I picked it up again uh, this year, uh, in 2019, um, I did more of a December daily, I just, because I had the photos and I had sort of forgotten the stories and I wasn't about to go back and look at the Journal of Your Christmas prompts, I was just kind of wanted to get it done. So uh, I just kind of did more of a, this is what happened in this day, more along the lines of the December daily. Anyways, here we go. This is my cover, and I did my opening page. This is a um, six by eight sort of die cut sheet that I backed with one of the papers from Chamel's Journal of Christmas box. Um, I had a question on my Flickr gallery about the products, and I I don't remember all of them. Uh, no, they are not current products. They are you know at least two years old. Um, some of them I think even older than that. But um, I will try and find. Chamel's uh, Journal Your Christmas uh, reveal video and put a link to that in this video. Anyways, so that was my opening page. Chamel talks about having a manifesto and so I did a little bit of that and then this was kind of our calendar and even though I have events after Christmas Day I don't journal after Christmas Day. It, I find it just too much. So then we just start in day one, Susie arrived. I have this tag and I was thinking I would add it in, but um, it didn't quite make it. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen with that. We actually decorated. I have a rule in this house that we don't decorate the house until at least December 1st. Um, otherwise I find it, it just kind of then Christmas just kind of goes on for too long. Day three, we put up the lights. Day four, just kind of a normal day. Um, both my girls were helping out in the library after school, so I took photos of that. Uh, we've got some basketball, because that was a big part of December. My eldest daughter was on the grade eight basketball team, so that was a big big part of um, our holiday. We had a fundraiser for my middle daughter because she was raising money to go to camp in the spring. I've got photos of our elf scattered throughout. I tried to take one every day of um, what she was getting up to and figured that was a good, good continuity thing to add um, in as we were going. We did a bathroom renovation. So we've got pictures of that happening. Uh, I did a craft market. Got our letters to Santa. Not the actual letters because those went to Santa, but I took photos of them. And this is the scheme of my bathroom. My eldest daughter, um, her choir went and sang at an old folks home. Some more pictures of Susie. Oh, we're getting ready for the tree. We always have a live tree, so it doesn't come until the middle of the month, because otherwise it would be very crispy by the time we got rid of it. So here on the 16th, we put the tree up and we decorated it. We have special decorations. Um, and I have a divided box that they go in by year. And so that was, the decoration for that year because we had gone to Britain in that summer. Inverbury Castle in Scotland is the home of the Clan Campbell and that is my maiden name. And we decorated the gingerbread house. So this is this is basically where I started for Lote. So all of this was done prior and then I think I ran out of page protectors um, and just kind of mojo. So this is what I started up again.
just some quiet days. Christmas concert. Somebody made a comment that it was funny to see umbrellas in December. Um, I live basically on the southwest coast of British Columbia, so we have rain 24-7 all year round, basically. Um, and this was very wet snow that we were having, so yeah, umbrellas came out. <laughs> and we did get some drier snow, very tiny bits. We don't get a lot of snow down here, so. And then the girls' choirs went to the airport to sing. Did some baking. My teenager, because she doesn't like to have her photo taken anymore. And then on the 23rd, this is the first sort of really big spread because um, we went to this special light show in a greenhouse called Glow. And um, so there's lots of good photo ops. Plus we had some fun at my sister-in-law's. So this was kind of an epic video. <laughs> this, this was, oh, yeah. I don't think I'll ever do that again, but you know, every now and then you gotta try something new, right? Finally convinced them to see Santa. And then this was the 24th and I had forgotten to add this photo or well, I couldn't really fit it in with all the pictures of Glow. Um, so I added it here, backing the one of Susie on Christmas Eve. Susie has a plus name. This is Christmas Eve. It was a pretty quiet day, not a lot of pictures. And then this is the one that I finished um, yesterday for load. This is Christmas Day. I think the prompt was about scrapbooking a celebration, so I feel like I'm, I was on prompt. Shocking. And then this is the last little um, four by six. Now I finished this side of it on camera. And the back side I did later. So what I ended up doing is I tucked my journaling inside an envelope. So if you really want to read it, you know, you've got to pull it all out and, and read it. And that's fine. Um, but I, I kind of felt like I didn't really want it on display. Plus I had a lot to say and it was front to back. So it's inside that envelope and it's right at the end. Okay. So that is my December journal for 2017. And um, I'm tempted to just start my December journal for 2018, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take a little break from Christmas and scrapbook some other things and move on. But thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of my December daily album and I will see you again soon. Bye.